Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anda Malescu and I'm a Florida Bar Board Certified Attorney and owner of Malescu Law, a law firm based in Miami, Florida, specializing in business corporate and U.S. immigration. We can assist you with all your immigration needs regardless of where you plan to go in the United States or where you are currently located. Today we are going to speak about five ways to obtain a green card through investment. As you will see, some of these options are purely an investment-based green card, while others are not a pure investment-based green card model, but nevertheless, they will help you achieve a U.S. green card while making an investment in the United States. But before we get started on today's topic, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell button or the subscribe button. The five ways to obtain a U.S. green card through investment are 1. The EB-5 Immigrant Investor Program, commonly known as the EB-5 Visa. This is the most popular option for foreign investors and entrepreneurs and it is the only green card option that is purely based on an investment in the United States. Now, in order to obtain the green card, the investor must make a financial investment of a minimum of $800,000 for projects located in TEA zones, meaning zones with high unemployment or rural areas, or a minimum of $1,050,000 for project located in non-TEA zones, meaning those projects that are in urban or low unemployment areas. Once the investor makes this minimum investment, the investor and the immediate family members, meaning the spouse and children under the age of 21 and unmarried, are able to obtain a green card based on this investment. There are two ways to make an investment for the EB-5 Immigrant Investor Program. One, you can make an investment through a USCIS approved regional centers. These regional centers develop the projects and you are a passive investor, meaning that you are not required to directly participate in the management of these projects. However, you must make the financial contribution in order to be able to apply for an EB-5 green card based on the investment in the regional center project. And the second option you have is to invest directly through your own U.S. business, whether because you were on an E2 visa, L1 visa, O1 visa, and you have invested over time, or even if you are not on any of these visas, you can still make the required investment in your own U.S. business in order to qualify for the EB-5 visa. However, you have to keep in mind that with direct investments into your own business for EB-5 purposes, you need to directly manage the entity and also you will be required to directly create at least 10 full-time jobs for U.S. workers within two years of approval of your conditional green card. This is very different from the investments in the regional centers where you are not required to participate in the management of the project, but you are also not the one who will be directly creating the 10 full-time jobs for U.S. workers and the regional 
center project will be in charge of creating the jobs and showing that the jobs have been created and indirect jobs also count towards this requirement. One aspect that is important is that aside from the financial commitment and the job creation, in the case of regional center investments, these regional center investments come with financial risks which are tied to immigration risks. Because at the end of the day, you want your EB-5 green card to be approved for you, your spouse and your children. But you also want the conditions on the green card removed when the time comes in order to have a permanent green card. Now, we work with investment brokers in order to locate regional center projects that are suitable for investments, but also on our team, we have a charter financial analyst with extensive investment experience and business valuation in order to assist with informing you of the capital structure and the financial risks so you can evaluate your financial risks and immigration risks of the specific regional center project. And finally, another point that is important to mention is that the EB-5 green card are reserved for those projects that are located in rural area and high unemployment areas and in for infrastructure projects. This means that these type of projects, rural, high unemployment and infrastructure, have priority and the processing times are a lot shorter for these projects versus the one located in urban or low unemployment areas. In the case of rural area projects, approval times, USCIS approval and review times have been as short as one to three months. However, on average, it is about six months. You should expect about six months in processing times. In the case of high unemployment projects, you should expect processing times of around one year, so 12 months to 14 months. But again, you may be able to see faster processing times. Two. A second option to obtain your green card through investment is the EB2 National Interest Waiver. So if you are a businessman, an entrepreneur, you can invest in a US business. But in order to qualify for the EB2 National Interest Waiver, or popularly known as EB2NIW, you must have either an advanced degree, meaning a master's degree, or a bachelor's degree plus five years of progressive work experience or its foreign equivalent. Or if you don't have the education, then you must have exceptional ability in art, science, or business. Once you can show that you either have the advanced degree or the exceptional ability based on an investment in your business with an endeavor, a plan that you have for the United States with that specific business, if you can show that is in the national interest of the United States, then you can apply for what is called an EB2 national interest waiver. Now you can use investments you have made in a U.S. business and developing your U.S. business. Again, the focus is on the proposed endeavor of what you plan to do in the United States with that green card um, plus what steps you've taken towards that goal. In this case, if it's through your own business, the investments you have made would uh, show your commitment, but also if 
you've already invested and you have a proposed endeavor that you can show it is in the national interest of the United States, then you may be able to obtain a green card for you and your spouse and children under the age of 21 and unmarried this way. Three, a third option to obtain a U.S. green card through investment is the EB1C green card for multinational managers or executives. This option is available to those foreign entrepreneurs or investors who own a business abroad and have worked as a manager or executive for at least one year in the past three years and are coming to the United States to work in an executive or manager position for the U.S. affiliate parent or subsidiary. We have successfully secured EB1C green cards for investors. However, this is a very complex green card type and it's not purely an investment based green card. Four, another option to obtain a green card through investment is the EB1A for individuals with extraordinary abilities in the arts, sciences, education, athletics or business. This type of green card is not purely based on investment, however, if you as a person meet the criteria for extraordinary ability, you can use that in combination with investments that you make in your business in order to obtain this green card for you, your spouse and your children. And finally, the fifth option to obtain a green card through investment actually refers to those individuals who are here with an E2 visa or an E1 visa or an L1 visa or an O1 visa and they own the US company and they are making investments over time. These investments over time can actually lead and meet the minimum financial requirement for an EB-5 green card. So these individuals with US businesses who are on an E2 visa, E1 visa, L1, O1, or any other visa that allows you to own and work in a company in the United States, can make these investments over time and ultimately qualify and use those investments to obtain an EB-5 green card. This is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and if you need to get in touch with us, you have our contact information in this video and below this video. We will see you soon. Bye.